Hi, welcome back. So today we are working on a Lenox uh, package rooftop unit. It's a landmark series and the customer was saying it, it's not heating and so first thing first we're gonna check the we're gonna open the electrical section and check the power first okay let's open up the unit and check what is going on with it okay so i have opened up the electrical section and this unit has a VFT drive for the blower motor and this is the condition here the power was of course off somebody turned it off and looks like a 24 volt transformer has been replaced and this T3 transformer, transformer also has been replaced so you can see the burn mark here and I can also see some uh, the brownish on the VFT drive and this connector I found look like completely burnt here look like uh, somebody else was working here and uh, let's check the motor okay so this is the blower motor I smell I smell some burn so looks like the motor is gone and most probably the VFD is also gone okay I will talk to customer and turn the power main disconnect off and what was the history of that unit okay so this is the blower motor section the so, sorry the uh, blower motor supply which is connected here in this portion of the VFD this is the input for VFD output which is going to this connector and to the blower motor so we're gonna check in between these three wire it's a three phase motor uh, the continuity and that will make sure that uh, the, then after that we will make sure that uh, the motor is gone okay so my multimeter is in uh, continuity as you can see here and it's gonna be very difficult for me to hold a mobile in one hand and second okay i think i can do that but uh, yeah my multimeter is in continuity so i will check uh, all three windings and every winding to every wire to the ground okay I'm not getting uh, any continuity between all three wires and uh, uh, this motor is not short to ground but uh, the windings are gone so that means this motor is gone and next thing uh, I think uh, the VFD is also not good so that's why okay so the customer told me that uh, the breaker was stripped so that's why uh, somebody maybe their maintenance guy turned the main disconnect switch here off and uh, so that was the history okay we'll figure out uh, if the vfd is still okay or not okay for the safe side i have checked all the contactors low portion which is going to those two compressor uh, the continuity between all three wires and they were good and short to ground everything was okay but the only thing i only the one big issue i found all those screws were very loose those uh, contactor all six six here six here and these all uh, the terminal block here i don't know what happened it was a manufacturing defect or, or the question is so can this cause this vfd or motor to fail answer is yes very loose connection so it was uh, they rotated like a uh, one full turn so wow <laughs> you know just 
tighten all those connections on this terminal block and the contactors very loose okay for this unit uh, i'm gonna recommend that customer to clear this pfd and the blower motor because i smell some bur burning inside here and of course the motor is gone we already tested that and uh, yeah we will come back okay so we are back with the new vfd drive and a motor and this is my puller to take the pulley out and uh, we're gonna do some big repair here so i'm gonna change the vfd drive which is burnt and the lower motor and the cause of uh, both devices to fail, I think, loose connections or were very loose. Okay, so this is the motor. If you can see, I don't know. This is all black inside. So the motor is burnt. But the pulley is good. I'm gonna take out this pulley with my puller. Okay, this is very easy to take this uh, pulley out with the help of this puller. And it's coming out. That's our brand new motor. So we're gonna mount this motor first here, do our connections, and then I'm gonna mount the pulley so that I can align with the the blower blower shaft, blower pulley. Okay, so I have uh, installed the new motor. Uh, the pulley is aligned with the blower pulley and uh, the belt is nice and tight and i have connected all three wire pretty straight forward phase one two three so everything is okay from here so now i'm gonna change the vfd that's the whole motor okay i have mounted the new vfd the new fd with the display the older one was without so the most important thing while installing that VFD is to connect it properly. So this is the power, three phase power supply, input power supply for the VFD. So it will go here and they have a label here, motor connections. So it is very very important to connect these three to uh, the motor wires. Because if we like, if we make a mistake and we somehow connect these three wire to this connection, the VFD is gonna blow up. So that's why they have specially pasted a sticker here. So this is the most important thing while installing the VFD drive. Okay, our VFD is completely wired. So these are the control wires and the high voltage wire on the back side and a green ground wire which is very very important for the VFD. The grounding should be very tight, like firmly tight. So, okay I have turned on the power. I can see the display of the VFD. I have taken out the R wire from the thermostat for the testing purposes. So and that's three phase monitor is showing green LED so now we can test on our heating side okay I have put my jumper between R to W1 and our motor is the blower motor is running fine and we have a proper ignition and it's looking perfect alignment and if we see the VFD here it is showing 60 Hertz that's the frequency 60 Hertz means it's running on its full speed so there was another second option we could have simply bypassed this VFD but the manufacturer has provided it I gave the customer both option so they wanted to go ahead with the VFD or simply we could have installed a th third uh, contactor here and 
so so looks like everything is working fine so i have to remove everything now thank you for watching see you next time